Because sometimes in life, all you got is that one thing. God gave you one thing to do. That's all you got is that one thing. I know life will back you down. I know life can be tough, but you are on a journey. The decisions I choose, even though there may be some bumps between there, the end result is going to be more bliss. What things that's not making you better? I suggest you move forward. I suggest you disconnect yourself from these things. There are millions and billions of people in the world, and we all got a story to tell some of them are good, and some of them are not good. But there's still a story. This is why we live. This is why we're breathing. And everything is not going to always go our way. We just got to keep going in the right direction. So your purpose must be served. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. You know, my dad would say, go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Be sweet. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet. Be sweet, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet. Be sweet, baby. Every time I left the house, my mom would say, be sweet, baby. Be sweet. My dad would say, go get it, son. Go get it. Go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet. 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 You got to be ready to fight and bounce back. Punch and counter punch, jab and jab back. Let me tell you something. Life is a series of fights. The worst thing you can do is run away from your fights. In order for you to rise up, you better take your game to the next level. Your mindset needs to go to the next level. Your information needs to go to the next level. Your relationships need to go to the next level. To be a shark. Choosing that emotion as your outcome. And remember, not choosing it is a choice. You've chosen to let an unconscious pattern run. And you know where that's gotten you. It's gotten to where you are right now listening to this. Whatever it is, good, bad, or indifferent in your life, your current level of happiness, of joy, of success, of fulfillment is exactly what you think you deserve. It's exactly what you think you're worth. It's a hard thing to accept, but in our lives, we are getting out of our life right now exactly what we believe we're worthy of exactly what we think we deserve. Our life is a direct reflection of our identity, which is the thoughts, concepts, beliefs, values, and worth we hold true to be about ourselves. And so as hard as it is to accept, we're getting out of life right now what we believe we're worth. And we believe we're worth it because of these patterns. It's about how you move, how you operate, how you navigate. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. Fighting for your future. Fighting for your dreams. Fighting for success. When you come over depression, you raise your arms like a chip. When you overcome bankruptcy, raise your arms in victory. Don't you ever lose hope. Don't you ever give up your mindset. Sharks are powerful creatures. You got to think different. You got to be different if you want to be at the top of your food chain. and our identity and our lack of choosing to have what we want. Not just the material things, not just the body fat, not just the body weight, not just the amount of money, not just having the relationship, but choosing the emotion we want. The level above all this stuff I discuss and the level way down here where the people just cover the basic stuff, then there's what I've been covering. The highest level is to choose the emotions we want to experience and to begin to run patterns that serve us and eliminate the ones who move us further from them. The final thing I want you to ask yourself today is we're talking a lot about these choices. I want you to evaluate for a second what these patterns are you're running and when they begin to rear their head, just identify them and begin to make decisions and choices that create a new pattern. It's as simple as it is, it's not that complicated. You've fallen into these patterns because there's a payoff. And so as long as you begin to identify it when it's happening and you begin to create a new pattern that leads you to the choice you've chosen, which is the emotion you want. You got to be about your business. You got to be about your business because your life is about the business. Your life is business, your purpose is business. And you got to take the initiative and carry that torch because everybody ain't built for it. Everybody can't raise that candle up higher than you. This is why it's in your hands, you got to light the fire within you. You must let your purpose be fulfilled. But don't expect everybody to be on your team, don't expect everybody to lift you up. There are miserable people in the world, and they exist 
There are negative people in the world because most of the times we tend to listen to the outside instead of what we have on the inside. And if you carry the right information with inside you, nothing else would matter. Nothing else can touch you. You're still gonna have your battles. You're still gonna have your ups and downs. You're still gonna be to a point where you say you're done. But you're not done. It's not over. If you're living, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep pushing. It's all up to you. It's up to you to make a decision about your life. It's up to you to understand that you have the power within yourself. The until formula. Good question. How long are you going to work to make your dreams of wealth and happiness come true? I suggest the until formula. It's the best. Emotions, disgust, decision, desire, resolve. Why postpone your better future any longer? Get at it today. Get some new books, make a new plan, set a new goal. Ask some new questions, lock on to a new resolve, make a new effort, and do it all now. So if I had a word with you tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me, I think my personal advice to you would be, this year, 1981, reach down inside of you and come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts. They're there, waiting to be utilized. And not negativity. If you have people around you that encourage you, stick with them, because they see something in you, but you got to see it within yourself. Don't be afraid to take a chance. Don't be afraid to move away from people that you thought had your best interests at heart, but you found out the hard way that they're negative. Don't let negativity take you out and destroy your possibilities. Show yourself, believe in yourself. Show yourself that there's something unique about you and you can do more than what you think you can do. But the dreams don't happen overnight. The goals don't happen overnight. There's a lot of work to be done. And if you're not willing to work for it, then it ain't gonna work for you in the first place. Patience is one of the things you have to remember about life. If you are the only one standing alone, just make sure you're standing. Maybe you need to be alone. Don't fall back. Don't give up. We're talking about your purpose. We're talking about your life. You need that strength. You need that wisdom. You need that courage. You need that faith. That's your purpose. Don't waste it. Don't surrender it. And then change anything for you you want to change. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight, only by choice. If you don't like your present address, change it. You're not a tree. What could you make yourself do starting tomorrow that would change it all? No, tell. Now see, that's exciting. On any given day, you can massively change the direction of your life. Murder is a clear example that any one person on any given day can forever alter the course of their life. It just happens to be a negative act. But just as sure as you can commit a negative act, you can also commit a positive act. Why need your purpose to someone else? One thing you must know about success is not going to wait for you, me, or nobody. If you want to be great, you can't stay. Complacent, you can't have a complacent mindset. Make sure that you're keeping the faith. Make sure you're keeping your head up and not looking down. Make sure you stand strong, don't hold back. Now, let's talk about these many battles, how many times you walked into a job interview, and you just knew you had it all down packed. 